What's going on guys, Mateo Potato back with another video review. Now, I collect a lot of other things other than Transformers. As you all know, that's what my main collection is, but I do also collect a fair amount of other things, including Star Wars The Black Series. Now, Star Wars has been a passion of mine ever since I was, God, very, very young, like two. One of my very first memories is watching Return of the Jedi. A few years ago, I had a lot more Black Series figures. Um, I actually ended up selling just about all of them to a local toy museum. Um, they're on display there, he has them all set up. It looks really, really nice. However, you know, I had I had that yearning that I wanted some figures in my collection. I have a pretty decent sized collection from either what I didn't sell way back when or from what I've received as gifts. Um, and this one is probably my favorite. Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch Minbin Trooper. For those of you who don't know or never watched Solo, the Mimbin Trooper is a stormtrooper that we see on this really muddy and gritty, disgusting looking planet in the middle of a war zone. Um, and you can definitely tell from looking at this figure that he's been through some mud. As far as I know, this is the regular stormtrooper body that they've had since the beginning of the Black Series line, but there are a couple of changes. The helmet has a different sculpt on the head here, but it kind of drops off before it hits the regular base of the head helmet. Um, and that's because it has like this little extra armor piece that's been sculpted in. I don't know, kind of gives it like an extra oomph, I guess. It makes it stand out a little bit more. And the weapon is your your basic E11 Imperial Blaster. Uh, I think the only difference between this one and the original release is that it has a flashlight on the end. As you can see, the weapon fits in his hand very, very nicely. And the last cosmetic thing I want to talk about is this cape. This is phenomenal. This cape kind of gives him like a commanding presence. Like, you know, he's uh, uh, the same level as Phasma, except in the Imperial instead of the First Order. He just looks so commanding on a shelf of regular troopers or non-caped troopers, and he looks like he, you know, is in command, and put him in that powerful stance, and you have yourself an Imperial Stormtrooper leader. The cape is also detailed in, like, this faded color to simulate the mud, and I just love that. It shows off some of the extra work that the creators did when going in and making this cape. I don't know, I'm just a sucker for soft good plastic. I know hard good plastic is sometimes a way to go, but honestly, this is it for me. Let's talk about the paint scheme. The paint on this figure makes him look like he did in the movie. He's all muddy and gritty and disgusting looking, as he should be for a stormtrooper who's been rolling around in mud. And then you just have like this weird brush stroke effect in the back. I don't know why that wasn't done like the rest of it, where it's kind of splotted, but I don't know. I just feel like it could have been done better. Also, you lift up the cape and look at his backside, and he's got the same amount of paint work, you know? It kind of gets a little odd when it gets up here to the waist. Kind of looks like it was some more of that paintbrush stroke. Um, but nonetheless, it still looks really, really good. You know, I, when I first got this figure, I was kind of hoping that this extra part here was kind of like a hood, so you could have like a hooded Commander Keller Stormtrooper-esque, but it doesn't. It just kind of looks dumb when folded up. So just, just, just leave it. All right, now normally this is the part of the review where I would go into a transformation. However, these guys are very hard to do stop motion with and he doesn't transform. So instead, we're gonna go through the posability section. All right, so the Mimbin Stormtrooper is basically your average Stormtrooper uh, model from the Black Series line. But since this is my first review, we're gonna go over it anyways. Due to this ball hinge joint in the neck, he can look up, up, Oh, pop his head off, I guess. And pop that back, just pop that back on there. He can look up that far, and thanks to the hinge, he can look down about that far. His head, as you saw, was on a ball joint, so it can go all the way around, and he can tilt it kind of side to side, or he can look puzzled, I guess is a good way to look at it. His arm, can't really go out that far. That's about as far as it goes simply because of the shoulder pauldron. It bumps into there. Um, I haven't found a way to, you know, be able to move that out any farther. But his arms can go all the way around. He has a bicep swivel and he has a double hinged elbow as you saw in most of the review. So it, you know, he can hold his weapon up. And this hand has a hinge going uh, it's very tight, but it goes up and down this way. And this arm under the cape goes in and out, like so. He's got like this ball jointed waist, which allows for wonderful posability in the waist section. Turn 
all the way around, like so. His legs can kind of go forward about that much. They're on like this 45 degree ball joint. Uh, it's kind of annoying for posability sometimes. These are double jointed and his feet can move up and down along with an ankle rocker, like so. The posability on his ankles is pretty good. However, he doesn't want to stand up all that well unless you bend his knee forward by like one click. You know, yeah, he kind of has to have like, he can't have like the, the typical standard attention stance. He has to have like the action, you know, ready to go kind of A stance in order to stand up, which is fine. You know, it's, it's not terrible at all to have to have that. But just the other thing with this cape is I really like the soft goods. I think that was the best way to go for that. It doesn't hinder articulation at all. It's tied around the back here, if you can see that. Kind of goes around each shoulder and then tucks, comes out from behind the back plate and ties into a knot. So, you know, this guy's real good. You know, he can uh, hold his weapon. He stands really well. He looks like a very commanding presence on the shelf. You know, if you put him in some kind of officer position, uh, like I have him now, or, you know, even standing with his hands behind his back, it works really well. Especially if you put him in front of other troopers. He just has that presence, you know? Man, I've gotta say, the Mimbin Stormtrooper is probably my favorite take on the vanilla Stormtrooper style. He looks like he has such a commanding presence and there's enough subtle differences to him to make him stand out, but not be too over the top and look like a different type of Stormtrooper. You know what I mean? He has a commanding presence on my shelf. He looks like some sort of Stormtrooper elite officer and he's just an awesome addition to the collection. So that has been the Mimbin Stormtrooper review. Uh, let me know if these Black Series reviews are something that you guys would like to see more of. Uh, do you want me to branch out more from Transformers and do Black Series, Gundams, uh, uh, anything else, Marvel Legends maybe? I don't know, I don't really collect those, but I have the one over there. Let me know what you guys would like to see. But that's it for this video review, you guys. Uh, like, subscribe, do whatever it is you guys do, and I will see you all in the next video. And until then, bye-bye. Thank you.